<clears throat> hey, Emer. What's going on, guys? Hello, Emer, Laura. How are you doing, guys? Hi, Davey. Nice to see you. How was your day? How was your weekend? What do you do? Well, I did many things. Such as what? Um, such as I went to have a lunch with my boyfriend and he gave me some flowers. Nice. All right. Where did you go to? Yes. <laughs> Acajutla. Nice. In La Sabambu. It was nice. a, a beautiful place, by the way. Uh, and I watched I watched my favorite series as well. What's your favorite TV show? Vikings. Nice. Mm -hmm. Do they have another season? Oh yeah, they do. Um, they did come up with the, with another season, right? Yes, I am planning that in the last last season. What All about right. you? I watched everything up until season six. So I don't know if there is another season because I haven't had time to watch it. But other than that, um, I went out. I went out to there is there is this uh, bar. <laughs> I call the um, what do you call it? Um, well, maybe I can't say it here, but there is a really cool bar around here. I, I so I went to that bar, and uh, nothing. I and um. I had to do homework because um, I'm studying like some things, so I had to do like extra homework and um, just chilled, you know. Didn't do anything else. All right, all right, but you you seem rested today. You seem like more, you know. You don't seem as tired as before. <laughs> what about you, Emer? How was your day? Emer, are you there? Hey, what's up with these other guys? So, how do you how do you like the uh, Puerto de Cajutla? That, that that's where you went, right? No, it's the restaurant. Oh, just the, the restaurant. Cajutla. Yes. Oh, okay. I thought that you went to the port. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, I've heard about that, but I've never been there. All right. Very good, guys. Hey, uh, did we finish section one? Yes. Okay. I think you sent me the screenshots. Did we get 100? No. What was your score? 85 or 19, I, I guess. All right, very good. Okay, so let's do something, okay? Because I do need it to get 100%. I know that they say, you know, it's only like, it's above 80%, but I, I do want you to get 100%, right? Emer, welcome back. I can't see you now. So can you hear me, sir? Oh, those are dope headsets. Those, dude, those are pretty dope headsets. Where did you get them from? <laughs> I can't hear you, man. All right. Those, those headsets are so cool, we can't even hear you. Hello, Eric. How are you? Hello. You can hear me nice now. Nice to see you. Yes, good I, evening, I, good evening. Yes, I good can hear you now, man. Where do you nice. buy those fancy headsets? Uh, so hit that. Do you know it? Yeah, I know it. Yeah, I know. All right. Uh, the brand is Scorpion, I think. All right, man. Okay, all right. You go get the girls, man. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> All right, guys. So, anyways, let's get started. Welcome, Eric. Nice to see you. All right, guys. So, <clears throat> moving on, guys. All right. Um. So you said that you didn't get one hundred percent. So, what? Which answers do we need to, to correct here, Laura? So, so which ones do you need? All right. So we're gonna do this one together, guys. Okay, we're gonna do this uh, this knowledge check together. But I want to see if you have less than one hundred percent, guys. Okay, let's take 
five minutes to make it 100%, okay? All right, so which answers do we need? Emer, Laura, Eric? The answers are, let me check. I think everything is used to. I, I write it down just to. All right, so let's analyze this guys, okay? For some reason. All right, hold on, let me bring it down here. So, all right, so Laura, help me read. It's a little bit small, I know, but let's try. Or you can read it from your cell phone, okay? <laughs> I mean, if you have the platform open, you can read it from there, okay? Uh, the first year of high school, it wasn't a very, a very good student. I wasn't. I, I wasn't a very good student. I used to think it's cool. Oh, hold on. <laughs> my God. All right, there you go. Was boring. I remember my classmates so my classmates used to go to the library used to go. or we go to the library. Used to go to the library. Okay, all right. Do we all agree on that, guys? Is it is it used to go to the library? I agree. All right. So number one, okay, number one is actually used to, right? And then uh, you say that number two is used to two all right very good all right uh thank you thank you laura uh sandra welcome back thank so you. Sandra. all right uh sandra help me read from from uh from number two okay okay uh, i used to go to the library and work on projects or study but i But I, what is it, used uh, to or would? Used to. Okay, but I used to, okay, we're gonna use, say used to as well. All right. All right, very good. Uh, but I used David, to go to the theater. Go ahead. I checked uh, my my homework and, uh, and the second one is would. Very good, okay, all right. The second one is would, guys. All right, it's not used to. Now, why is the second one would and not used to? I remember my classmates would go it to the is. library and work on projects or study. Because have uh, two actions. Okay. Actually, you could also say, I remember my classmates used to go to the library and work on projects or study. Or study, I'm sorry, right? But the reason why you guys remember repeated actions right when something has frequency it's better to say would got it all right so the reason behind it is because of the amount the, the frequency right marina welcome back marina nice to see you nice. all right very good okay all right excellent all right so we're just solving the exercise 1.10 okay okay all right, guys, so, but I would, would go to the video arc, arcade instead. All right, continue from number four, Eric. Oh, that's my curtain. <laughs> so let's see, Eric, number four. Which, the, the exercise? Uh, it's right here. You can take a look at the screen. I go to the, I uh, used to, I used to, okay, so I, I used, used to go, to, uh -huh. I used to go right, right after class and, uh -huh. so we say number four is used to, and, okay. uh, yes, uh-huh. And and uh, used to spend. Okay, used to. Used okay. to spend two hours there. All right. Very good. And I used to spend two hours there. Okay. 
All right, continue. I knew. Uh, used to. Wait. I knew I was. Oh my God. Like, uh huh. Go ahead. Sorry. I knew I was. Yeah. I knew I was smart. never. Uh, I knew I was smart. Wait a second. <laughs> All right. All right, very good. I, just, I knew let's... I was smart, so I wasn't worried about my grades. My mom used to. Used to have a job. Very good. Okay, now here, mom guys. Used to, number six. Yes, my mom used to have a job. Okay, very good. All right, good job, uh, Eric. Now, Sandra, why can uh, is it okay? If I said my mom would have a job, or why would that be incorrect? I think that would be incorrect. Think, not nothing, or thing, right? Think. 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 It's a short <laughs> E, all right, just E. Think. Okay. I think it's, it's incorrect to say would, because you're not talking about something that is repeated. Very or good. In a frequency. Awesome. Applause for Sandra. That was perfect. Good job, Sandra. All right. Good job. Okay. All right. So she never knew. All right, I'm going to read it here, guys. So she never knew what time I used to get home or would get home. What do you think, Marina? That's the number seven. Yes. I used to. Okay, right. Okay, so you say it's number, I mean, it's used No, to. the number seven, the number six. Number six is used to, right? Number seven is yes. used to, okay. All right, continue reading, Morena. One day. Um, one day I had to go to the principal's office. He said, you used to, you used to be a great student. All right, very good. You used to be a great student, right? All right, uh, continue, Sandra. Continue reading. Okay, now your grades are terrible. Explain. That was a real wake up call after that. Uh oh. After that, I used to be at the library most, most nights with my classmates. Oh, is it I used to? I used to be. Yeah. Well, that's a different yes, answer. Okay, all right, very good. Okay. Yes. Could I say I would be at the library most nights with my classmates? Yes, guys, that, that would also be correct. Okay, if that doesn't take it as correct, guys, all right, it should take it as correct as well because you're talking about an action that happened with frequency. Okay. Now that my kids are in high school, I tell them about all the silly things I. Used to do when I was their age, or I would do when I was their age? Would. Okay, all right, so this, this would be would. What is number eight? Used. Used to. Used to. And number nine? Used to. Used to. Used to. Okay, guys, really good. All right, good job. Okay, very good. Okay, awesome. Guys, did we all finish section number one with 100%? Yeah. All right. Did we all? Very good. Okay. Oh, uh, Laura, you said they had 82 or something, right? Or 86? Yes, 85. All right. Which one, which one did you get wrong? This one. This one? Yes. Oh, okay. Right. All right. Very good, guys. Okay, so we're going to jump to... Uh, we're going to jump to section number two now, guys. All right. So, everybody, let's go to section number two, please. Remember to have your platform open, guys, because I need to do the exercises as, as well, okay? All right. So, we're going to talk about relative clauses and noun clauses, okay? All right. So, first of all, guys, do we remember, all right, do we remember what a, what a relative pronoun is? Do we remember, guys, what a relative pronoun is? No? Yes. 
is the word that replaces a noun. The word that replaces a noun. That's that's a pronoun. All right, that's 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 a that's a pronoun, right? Like he, she, it. Um, a relative pronoun, guys. Okay, it's what connects words. Okay, what connects clauses. Okay. All right. Anyways, guys. Okay, we're we're gonna see that in a moment. Okay. All right. So first off, first off. Uh, okay, let's take a look at this, guys. A relative clause, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, Eric, would you mind helping me read, please? Hello, Claudia, welcome back. Okay, this is nice uh, well, re relative clauses and noun clauses. A relative clause can occur in the subject or the object of a sentence. Very good, guys. So, a relative clause can occur in the subject or the object of a sentence, okay? Do we remember what a, what the object and the subject of the sentence is? What's the difference between the subject of the sentence and the, and the object of the sentence? So if I say, guys, all right, if I say the thing that I can stand, what what's the subject in that clause? All right, very good. We're gonna go back, guys. Okay, all right. Let's go back to basic, real quick, guys. Who can give me a subject, guys? Morena, let's give a let's have a subject. You. You okay? Very good, guys. So let's talk about subjects. Oh my god, my keyboard. Hold on, guys. Here we go. Disconnected. All right, very good, guys. So let's talk about subjects, okay? So the subject of a sentence, right? So you, okay, uh, Cheyenne, um, the cat. What else can be a subject, guys? The world. Okay, the, the world. All right, Emir, what else can be a subject? We. Oui. Okay, we, oui, okay. Now, guys, check this out. And tell me if this is subject, okay? If I say the thing we were doing last night was amazing. What's the subject here? The thing. The thing. Actually, here the whole subject is this, guys. The thing that we were doing last night. You can say is amazing, okay? So the reason why, guys, is because this oh. whole clause works as a subject, okay? Because this is this whole thing, right? This whole sentence, this whole clause is what we are talking about. Got it? The thing right. we were okay. doing last night is the, is All the right. So this is, okay, very good, okay? So this will work as a subject of the sentence. And this right here, right? This would be a linking verb, or you can, right? As would be a linking verb, right? And then amazing. All right, you can say this is the complement, okay? Or you can say this is a an adjective because it's describing the subject, okay? All right. Anyways, guys, okay? So, so far, so good. So, who can give me, who can try? Laura, all right, let's try with Laura. Laura, uh, can you try to give me a different subject, a subject that is a clause? Just follow my same example, right? So, you don't get confused. Uh, the, the music... It was really good. The, okay, very good. Okay, the music, the music, and they say it was. By the way, guys, the music is already a subject, okay? It is already a subject. So be careful with that, okay? This is a double subject. You don't say the music it was. You say the music was, right? Was. Because you already have a subject here, right? So okay. the music was, okay? All right. The, yeah, the music is a subject, right? And then you have here the verb be or a linking verb, whatever you want to call it, depending on the action the, the verb be does, okay? All right, so if we talk about the music, guys, okay? But let's, let's, what if I say, guys, the music, right? The music I was listening to last <laughs> night was. was or is or whatever, right? Is amazing, okay? What is this? What works, guys? What works as the whole subject here? Subject. 
The music I was listening to. The music I was listening to last night, okay? All right. So now, guys, okay, let's go back to your relative clauses, okay? Now, guys, if I say, guys, if I say, you know, um, the, the cat, okay, was eating his food. So now, what's, what's the subject here? The cat. The cat, right? Yeah. This is the subject, okay? Now we have was, okay? Was is just, you, you can call it, you know, a linking verb, right? All right. Eating, okay? And then you got this right here. Eating, which would be what? All right, a gerund, okay? And then his. Now his food, obviously, guys, his is actually a possessive pronoun. However... All right, his, his food, okay? This mm -hmm. is the object of the sentence, got it? Got the it. object of the sentence is what we are referring to, okay? All right, so it works. All right, so, so we'll go that way. All right, so let's take a look at the first example, all right? Uh, Sandra, if you're so kind, help me read the first example. Okay. Uh... Something that bugs me is people who take up to sit on a crowded bus. Very good. Okay, good job. Bus. All right, very good. On a crowded bus. All right, good okay. job. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you very much. All right. Now, guys, okay, let's, let's see what a clause is. Remember, guys, a clause is just a sentence that has a verb. I mean, that has a subject and that has a verb, right? At least. All right. So when we say, okay, uh, something that bugs me, all right, which one works, which one here, guys, do you think works as the subject of the sentence? Something that bugs me. Very good. Who said that? Oh, Marina, good job. Let's more Marina, guys. All right, high five to you, Marina. Yes, something that bugs mm -hmm. me, guys, okay? All right. So this works as the subject of the sentence right here, okay? Now, something that bugs me, is that clause? Yes or not? Yes. Very good, okay? Now, when you say something that bugs me is people, guy. Okay. Oh, that my keyboard. Hold on, guys. So when you say something that bugs me is people who take up two seats on a crowded bus, okay? All right, this, oh my God, hold on. My keyboard is not working as well. All right, very good. So remember guys, do we have a subject here? Remember to identify clauses, guys, okay? Can this be a, can this be a clause? Something that box means people. Or just something that box me. What do you think? Something that box me. All right, something that box me, right? All right, and then we have the linking verb, and then we have people who take up two seats on a crowded bus. All right, very good, guys. So you identify, guys, the you identify the subject of the sentence of the of the two clauses here. Okay. Now, what about the thing that I can stand? What do you think is the subject here of the sentence? The thing that I the can stand. That can the stand. thing that I can stand, guys. Okay. All right. All right. Very good. Now, relative clauses. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Relative now, uh, relative pronouns, guys, are these connectors, okay? Who or that? If I ever ask you guys what relative pronouns are, mm -hmm. right? Who, right? That's who, that, which. Which, where. Right. Okay. Where, exactly, right? Mm -hmm. Don't get confused with WH words, okay? Because you don't use this. I mean, you, you're in this case, you're not going to use them to make questions, okay? You're going to use them, use them for connecting ideas, all right? All right, very good, guys. All right. Here, guys, okay, let's take a look at the, the second example. Some sentences use relative clause, a relative clause, and a noun clause beginning with a question word such as when, all right? 
For example, over here, help me read, Claudia. <clears throat> yes. Some sentences use a relative clause in a noun clause, be beginning with a question word such as when. For example, continue. Can I continue? Yes, yes, please. Okay. Uh, the thing that I hate is going to kill right there scooter on the sidewalk. Their scooters. The second. The scooter. Okay. Scooters. One thing that one thing that bothers me is when my friends don't show up on time for things. All right, very good. Okay. All right. Repeat. Don't show up on time for things. Don't show up. Don't show up no, on not time show. for things. Show. Don't show. Yeah, no. Ah. All right. It's that 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 sound, guys. Is like when you go like shh, like when you when you tell your kids stay quiet, shh, right? Show. No. All right. Very show. good. All right. Don't show up. Don't show up. Very good. Okay. Good job. Okay. Ernesto okay. Castillo. Hello, Ernesto Castillo. Hey. Hello, teacher. How are you, man? I'm fine. Thank you. What about All you? right. Thank you for joining. All right. Are you part of the class or are you part of uh, Inglés Corporativo? I'm not sure because did you were you with us last last week last week? Uh, yes. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I just joined a few minutes ago. I had forgotten to enter the class before. My mistake. All right. That's okay, man. That's okay. All right. Welcome aboard. Uh, do me a favor. Let's. If you have a camera, just turn it on. Okay. So we can all um, participate. And if you do have uh, a camera, okay. Yeah, I have a camera, but I'm at a show in this moment, so I can't okay, turn it that, on. That's all right, right? But uh, good job. Welcome aboard, Ernesto. Um, I'm here if you have any questions, okay? All right, okay. guys, so, all right, good job. Uh, so, Ernesto, okay, let's read. So, what is a relative clause or an adjective clause? Help me read, uh, um, Ernesto. Yeah, if you're... Go ahead. So, uh, what relative... is a relative clause, uh-huh? Relative or adjective clauses provide information about a noun or pronoun in either the subject or the object of a sentence. All right, very good, guys. Okay, good job. Thank you, Ernesto. All right. Let's take a look, guys, at let's take a look at the examples. Okay, now that you know, guys, what the, the object of the sentence and the subject of the sentence is, okay, let's take a look at some examples, okay. All right, so who'd like to help me read? You know what? I'm gonna pick someone who hasn't participated that much. Eric, <coughs> help me read over here, please. And write this down, guys, in your notebook, please. All right, so Eric. Uh huh. Eric, Eric, you're you're muted, Eric. Okay. All right, go ahead. Something happened, right? Um, yeah. Okay, help me read over here. Yeah, relative clause you relative or adjective clause. Give additional information about a noun in either the subject or the object. All right, guys. So, listen. Uh, thank you very much, Eric. Okay. We call it, guys. Go we call it. An... Can you? That's okay. That's okay. Thank you very much, Eric. All right. I, I think your your connection is is uh, was cutting out. Okay. So, guys. It's called a relative clause or an adjective clause because it works as an adjective, okay? Let me ask you something, Emer. What does an adjective do? Describe a noun. It describes a noun, describes right? A noun. It describes a noun or a pronoun. It describes or more general, guys, if you want to be more general. It describes the subject or the object of the sentence. What does it do, guys? What does it do? Describe. Yes, it describes a subject. Or 
the yeah, object of the sentence, yeah, okay? All right, very good. So far, so good? So far up until here? Okay, very good, guys. Yeah. All right. Now, they are, they are dependent clauses. By now, guys, at this level, you should know what dependent clauses are. But if you don't know, uh, go to Google right now, <laughs> look it up. But a dependent clause, guys, is basically, it's a sentence, guys. It's always a clause, right? It's a sentence that needs another clause to make sense. So what is it? It's a clause that needs another clause or sentence to make sense. Very good. Okay, good job, guys. Good job, Sandra, right? Very good. All right, so relative clauses help connect two separate ideas, okay? All right, so we're going to talk about that. So example, that is the school, all right? Or I went to that school as a baby. Now, can we join these two ideas together? Yes. Ah, all right. If I say, guys, if I say that is the school, is this a dependent or independent class? That is the school. Dependent class. All right, very good. If I say, I went to that school as a baby, is that a dependent or independent class? Dependent. A dependent, right. Remember, an independent class, guys, is one. I'm going to mute some of you guys just because of the background noise. But if I say I went to that school as a baby, do you understand the idea? Does it make sense when I say it? Yes or not? Yes, right? Do, uh, guys, I can say, hey, that is the school I went. You know, I went to that school as a baby. And the idea is complete, okay? So that is not an independent clause. An independent clause is only independent. I mean, a dependent clause, guys, is only dependent if it needs another idea to be complete. Got it? Got it? Yes? Mm -hmm. All right. So now, guys, okay, so we have, so we want to marry these two, these two ideas, okay? So these are the clauses, okay? And we want to marry them, okay? So we have this one over here and this one over here, okay? How do we marry them? We marry them with relative pronoun. pronoun. Yeah. Very good. Okay, relative pronouns. And what are the relative pronouns? Who, that, we. Okay, who, that, which, all right, where, which, blah, blah. Okay, where. now, remember, guys, that if I say that is the school, all right, here I can say, that I went to, all right, or can I say where I went to school as a baby? All right, I'm gonna show you. So I can say, guys, that is a school I went to as a baby, Whoa. okay? All right, very good, okay? Or you can say, that is a school that I went to as a baby. Or you can say, that is a school where Whoa. I went as a baby. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys all right we're gonna see more examples about that okay all right guys so take a look guys uh do me a favor let's write these down in our oh. notebooks yeah. all right so these are the relative pronouns okay so what do they do if i ask you in the exam guys what do relative pronouns do uh claudia Tavar, what do they do <laughs> relative pronouns uh... <laughs> Is it in, introduce relative clause? Rel relative clause? Not relative, right? Relative. <laughs> introduce relative relative clause. Relative Plus. clause. Tell us, tell us which person, thing the speaker means refers to. Okay, all right. Okay. So yes, guys, it introduced relative clauses, right? And, all right, a relative clause tells us which person, thing, or the speaker means or refers to, all right? So it tells you, hey, what, you know, what are you talking about, right? All right, so if we want to talk about, you know, uh, just just take a screenshot out of this, okay? You're going to need it later, guys. Take a screenshot. All right. All right. My God, I got so many dogs outside. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the examples, okay? All right, so let's read this sentence. Okay, Laura, help me read this sentence, please. 
The students who are learning relative clauses are smart. Very good, okay. Now, guys, can you identify, guys, can you identify the relative pronoun here? Which one is the relative pronoun? Who? Who? Very good. The relative pronoun is here. What are the two ideas that we are connecting? Who? No, that is not an idea. No. What do you think? The students are smart and the students are, are smart, guys. Very good. All right. So the, the idea is the students are smart. They are learning relative clauses, okay? All right. Notice, guys, what happens here. So if I want to use these two ideas, guys, and turn them into a relative clause, all right, you're going to use the noun, okay? The, the noun that we have here, or the subject, which which would be the subject here, guys? The students. All right. Students. Notice, guys, that the students and they are exactly the same, yes? Yes. All right. So what we do, guys, is that we use, all right, we use, um, all right, so we use, guys, okay, we use the subject of the sentence, and then we use the rest of the sentence. We are not going to use, guys, the subject again, right, because we already used it. All right, so the students, we connected with using a relative plus, are learning, the students uh, who are learning relative clauses are smart. All right, so let's have another example, guys. Okay, do my favor, guys. Even if you make mistakes, guys, try to send me your own examples, okay? So let's talk about, I'm gonna give you another one, all right? Okay, I'm gonna say, uh, Okay, water, water is healthy, all right? It is, uh, I don't know, give me the idea, guys. Water is healthy. It is cheap. It is what? It is good. It, it is good for people. Okay, we're gonna say it is good for people. All right. So who'd like to try and join these idea, these two ideas together, guys? And actually, guys, let's use da here. And let's hold on. Let's let's change let's, the water. Let's change, let's do uh, the water is clean. Okay. All right. Very good. So the water is clean and it is good for people. Now, why am I using why am I using an article, guys? I'm using an article, by the way, because I'm talking about a specific water. Okay, right, you're gonna understand why in a moment. Okay, so let's join these two ideas together. Emer, how would you join these two ideas together? Everybody, do me a favor. Do it in your notebook right now. Okay. Use the relative pronoun. Go ahead, Emer. All right, very good. Right? You you would you have to use the relative pronoun. Okay, but how do you uh... how do you do? It? The water is clean, which is good for people. Okay. Hold on. So you said the water is clean, which is good for people. Mm. The water is clean. It is good for people. All right. The water is clean, which is good for people. All right, there would be a coma here, okay? I don't want any coma here. All right. Remember, guys, we are going to eliminate this, right? We're going to eliminate the pronouns there, all right? So how will we join them together? Uh, Sandra, let's try. The water that is clean. Very good. Okay, let's say the water. Very good. That is clean. It's good for people. It's good for people. Good job. For people. Beautiful, guys. Okay, very good. All right. 
let's see. Uh, let's have two more ideas together, guys. Okay, let's say. Um, let's talk about. You know, um, those people are bad. Okay. All right. So remember, this is like an, like adjectives, guys, because we are describing, right? We're describing the noun, right? And uh, let's see. Those people are bad. They killed a cat. Actually, you know what? They stole a cat. All right. Let's not. No violence, okay? All right, so they stole a cat, guys, okay? So, uh, Laura, how do we join these two ideas together? Those people are bad. Mm. <coughs> That's that's really bad for a cat. Okay, that's really bad for cats, okay? All right, okay. Uh, those people are bad, that's really bad for cats, okay? That would be two separate ideas that we're not, we're not joining the DS here, okay? Put it like this, okay? Um, put it like this, guys, okay? Let me separate the example here, okay? Well, let's talk about... Those people are bad, okay? And then Ooh, down below, it. and down below we have that's really, I'm sorry, those people are bad, huh? They stole a cat, okay? So what you do, guys, okay? First, you use the pronoun here. I mean, the subject. What is the subject here, guys, in the first sentence? What is the those subject? people. All right, it is those people, okay? Those people, all right? Now, after the subject, I need a relative pronoun. I need what? A relative okay. pronoun. Very good, guys. Okay, so let's, okay, relative so we pronoun. have the subject, right? The subject, all right, hold on, let me, all right, so over here, all right? So those people are Okay, those people, okay? Those people are bad, okay? That is the first idea. They, right? They stole, I'm sorry, hold on. They stole a cat, okay? So what we do, guys, okay, is we take the subject of the first idea, right? And the subject in this case is those people. those people okay this is those people okay and then we add all right we add a relative pronoun very good okay so i'm gonna add guys okay a relative pronoun okay relative pronoun okay all right which which relative pronoun would it be okay to use here who, maybe? Very good, okay, who, right? Because we're talking about people, those people who, okay. And now we talk about the action of the second, action yeah. of second clause, okay? And what is the action of the second clause? Stole a cat. Stole a cat, very good, okay. Stole a cat, okay. And finally, we use, okay, the complement of the first clause, okay? Or you can say the... um. The adjective, okay? We use the adjective. Yeah. And what is the adjective that we're using here? Bad. All right. Bad, okay? Bad. Very good. So now, let's join these together, right? So it goes like this. It goes like... Uh, all right, so it goes, this is, okay? So we have number one here. All right. All right, those people. Then we got... A relative pronoun here, right? Who stole a cat, this is good. number two, are bad, right? And we have number three here, okay? So, now let's join these ideas, I mean, the, the two ideas together, guys, with the example that I gave you. So in that case, uh, Morena, what would be the what would be the right way of saying, to say this, 
this uh to join i'm sorry to join these two ideas together everybody do me a favor do it in your notebook okay mm -hmm. wait now, tell me um Those people are bad. All right, let's, Marina, do me a favor. Let's take a look at this, okay? Listen, I broke it down like this, okay? okay? Right. Those people. No? Who oh, stole, stolen or stolen this, in that case? Those people, I don't know. Should I use simple past tenses or should I use um, the third form of the verb? Those people who stolen who stole. or stole, guys, who stole, okay, very good, right? Who it's stole not a, past a cat are bad. Okay, all right. Those people who stole a cat. A cat, are, I forgot it. Okay, a cat are bad. Very good. A post for Miranda, guys. Good job, okay. Awesome, okay. All right, let's have another example. Let's talk about, I don't know, guys. That car, uh, that car. Actually, you know what? What, what do you, can, I, can I join these guys? That beautiful, uh, beautiful car, all right? It is very fast. Now, guys, what about this? Is it possible to join these two ideas together? Think about it. Do I have these ingredients? Do yeah. I have... Think about it, guys, okay? All right. Think yes, about you it. Do. do I have a subject? Do I have a relative? Do, can I use a relative pronoun? Is there an action in the second clause? And do we have adjectives? So, what, which one is the subject here? That car. That beautiful oh. car, okay? All right. So, yes, we do have number one, right? All right. Can we use a relative pronoun? We, can, we cannot answer this question yet, okay? Until we answer three and four. Is there an action in the second clause? Yes. Where, what, what is the action, man? It's very fast. And how is that an action? That's an adjective. That's, uh, That's an right. adjective, not an action, right? Mm -hmm. Very good, yeah. okay. So this, there, is, there is no action. So can I use a relative clause here, yes or not? No. No. All right. We cannot join them together like that, okay? All right. Very good, guys. Okay, you're getting the hang of it, all right? All right. Let's take a look at this, guys. Okay, let's talk about Dua Lipa. All right. Actually, you know what? That woman, that woman, all right, remember, we need a subject, right? That woman is pretty, okay? All right, let's have the second idea. All right, Laura, let's have the second idea. Uh, she is very intelligent. She is very intelligent, okay? All right. All right, guys. Now, take a look at this, okay? There is something, guys. There is something here that you can still use, okay? And the reason why, guys, is because of the verb right here. Hold on. So can we join these two ideas together, guys? <coughs> ah, but where is the action, right? But can we join them? Yeah. No, right. because you told us that the verb to be is just for linking. Uh, the verb be, guys, the verb be <coughs> can be used as an auxiliary. It could be used as a linking verb. All right, it can also oh. be used as an action verb, okay? Yeah. It depends on what you're using it for. In grammar, guys, <laughs> everything is used as almost everything, okay? An adverb can be used as an adjective. 
All right, like it's it depends on what you know, of of the rest of the sentence, okay? But here, guys, can I say that woman, okay? So I have the subject, right? All right. Can I say uh, very intelligent? Who? Very good, okay. That woman who is very, very intelligent. intelligent, okay? Pretty. Is pretty. All right. So yes, in this scenario, we can we can join the two ideas together, guys. All right. All right. All right, guys. So guys, from one to ten. All right. From uh, is it clear as is it clear as tequila or is it clear as Coca Cola? <laughs> clear, claro como tequila, or claro como Coca Cola. What do you like an horchata. Like horchata, all right, very good. That's awful. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, guys. Okay, all right. Do my favor, guys. All right, let's continue with this right here. Do you have any questions? Right? Is there something that you need me to re-explain? Do we? Did we understand this part, guys? <clears throat> At least this right here. Do we understand? Okay, yeah. Sandra. Yes, Emer. We good? Laura, did we understand this part? Yes. Okay, right. Uh, Eric, Ernesto? Yes, it's fine. All right, very good, all right, it's awesome. Good. All right, guys, so let's take a look at this. All right, so one thing that I hate is people who talk during a movie, okay? Oh, okay. So do we have, do we have a subject here? What do you think? Yes. All right. Very good. Right. So we have one thing. Okay. So what, what two ideas are these guys? So what would be the two ideas that we have here? Hey, people. One thing that I heard. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. One, maybe one thing I maybe maybe a one thing I hate, mm -hmm. or just one thing. And then the idea number two would be, I hate. That hurts. I hate it when people talk during a movie. All right. All right. Very good. So here, guys, okay, this is also a relative clause because this right here, all right, is describing the subject over here, the subject over here, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let's mm -hmm. keep going here, okay? So, all right, number one, guys, okay, what do we have? So a noun clause, all right? A noun clause is what? A noun clause is? Sentence inside a sentence. There's a sentence inside a sentence, okay? A noun clause also a gives noun more detailed description of a subject. Very good, guys, okay? Very good, okay? So notice, guys, if th is this a noun clause, guys? I'm sorry, is this a noun clause or a relative clause, guys? Relative. Oh, and but remember... Let's 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 go back, guys. Okay, right. I want you to take a look at the difference. Okay, all right, <clears throat> all right. So here, guys. Okay, let's it's over here. Hold on. So over here, guys. Okay. So here, guys. One thing is that a noun? If I say one thing, is that is that a noun? Yeah. All right, yeah. very good. Now, is this sentence right here describing the noun? Yes or not? Is it describing this? Yes or not? Yes. 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 It is describing it, right? Now, guys, if a sentence is describing the noun, that is called a noun clause, okay? All right. So every time that you see a noun, guys, it is a noun clause. If I say, guys, you know, the car that I saw yesterday Right or, or or you know the the woman who was walking down the street yesterday, 
is very pretty, that whole sentence becomes a noun, and therefore that is also a relative. I mean, I mean, a, a noun clause. Okay. All right, guys. Hold on. So when we want to connect, well, we're not gonna have time for this, guys. Okay. Let's do something, guys. Okay. Um, uh, we're we're just gonna leave it here. All right. We're gonna get some practice, guys, and. I want you to, before we come to class tomorrow, guys, okay? I know we see you. Just take a look at this. Just investigate this, okay? Relative clause versus noun clause, okay? All right. Because tomorrow, guys, you're all going to give me your own examples, okay? All right. And don't, don't worry, guys. We're going to have time because uh, I know relative clauses are kind of complicated. All right. Everybody that I've known in my life have had issues you know, uh, with relative and noun clauses, okay? All right, we're pretty good, guys. Do we have any question? Any question? Claudia? No, I know. All right, Sandra? No. Ernesto? No. All right, Laura? No, we good? No. All right, no. guys, okay, right. So, uh, so go, go to bed, guys, okay, all right? Enjoy the rest of your evening, all right? And I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Okay. <laughs> take care, guys. See you okay, around. See you. Take care. Okay, see, you. see you tomorrow. Bye. See you guys.